Hey, what's up, y'all? So I have a gig in a few hours, but I figured I'd use today to show you the new X MG30. So this is pretty much what I take to my gigs. This is all I take. The pedal fits right in here. I have, come on, one and two quarter inches. Here's the pedal, fits right in here. Instead of kind of taking you through this whole thing and like every single amp model and everything that it uses, I figured I'll just show you guys the patches that I set up for myself and programmed myself. A few things about this pedal that I didn't know when I purchased it that I think is worth mentioning to you guys. The pedal actually comes with this additional foot switch right here. Comes with the foot switch, comes with this USB cable right here. It also comes with this cable right here, which is for the foot switch. So this foot switch can be used for two additional, I guess, kind of like scenes or I forget what the Line 6 equivalent is called. It's basically like patches within a patch. I actually don't end up using this because I only want to bring this to my gigs. I don't want to have to bring anything else. So I just use this, but I figured I would mention that it does come with two additional foot switches. I thought I would have to buy that, but yeah, it comes with it and you can use this if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'll be recording this straight into my Apollo Twin. I'm gonna be using this guitar, my Sir Modern Satin. All right, you guys, so I have everything set up right now. Let me take you through this first patch that I use. I have pretty much the first whole bank, 01. That's what I use for all my presets. And what I start with is 01B, and I'll explain that in a second. 01B is my clean patch. And as you can see, I have the volume pedal engaged, which I can control with this. Volume. Compression, EFX is a boost, if I just hold that down. RC boost right here. And the amp is a twin reverb, or sorry, a deluxe reverb. And then I have the IR, some EQ, and then reverb. And that sounds like this. Um, so that's the clean signal. Now the reason why I have it on 01B is because instead of using the scenes within the patches to change uh, my sounds, I'm just I'm just using four different uh, presets. So I just I'm, I'm using like the scroller kind of method. So if I press this button right here, that goes to my dub patch. And the reason why I have a dub patch is because here in Hawaii, most of my gigs are reggae gigs. So this is pretty much the same patch as the clean patch, but with a uh, dotted eighth delay and more reverb, which sounds like this. And the way I use that patch is I like to use the wah pedal and to engage the wah pedal you actually just press down on the volume pedal like so and you can see it's engaged. To adjust the uh, tempo, the tap tempo is right here. So one thing that maybe I just haven't figured out how to do yet, um, but one thing that I dislike about this pedal is the tap tempo is not global. It pretty much is set per preset. So when I tap in the tempo and I change my preset, the BPM changes. Maybe I just don't know how to, I haven't figured out how to change it to a global tap tempo, but that's one thing I wish that this pedal had. So that I wouldn't have to tap in the tempo each time um, I change a patch. And I know I could just use the scenes, but this is just how I'm using it right now. Okay, anyways, so that's the dub patch. And so yeah, this is the reason why I have my clean on 1B and my dub on 1A, because I wanna get to that patch with one foot tap. 
versus having to scroll multiple times. The way I set it up is I wanna have the least amount of foot taps possible. So, dub, clean, and one more above clean is crunch. <laughs> That's the crunch tone. Pretty simple. This is the compressor, RC boost. I believe this is kind of like a Plexi model or a Brit 800. This is the cap I'm using, some EQ, delay, and reverb. And then one more above that is my lead patch. And the lead patch is pretty much the same as the crunch patch, it just has more gain. Oh, and also has a little bit more reverb. Sometimes when I get called for solos or whatever, I might use the crunch channel, or I might use the lead patch for the solo. It kind of just depends on the dynamics of the song. Like if it's a relatively clean sound, uh, clean style song, I'll probably just go to the crunch because you don't want to have like a roaring, super high gain lead uh, if the song is relatively mellow. But I do have the lead patch if I just need a little bit more juice. So that's pretty much how I use this pedal. Again, I wish the tap tempo was global, so I wouldn't have to tap it in every time I change the patch. But if there's anyone else out there that's more knowledgeable on these units than I am, let me know if there is. Maybe, maybe I might be doing this wrong. That's kind of a quick run through of how I set up this pedal. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything into my bag and get ready for my gig. We're here. Look at the sky. Look at that. That's insane. Seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Good. Yep. Test, test. Yep. That's all. Uh... 